Alright, so let's go to, uh, <clears throat> let's, let's go deliver these medicines to these people. Uh, I have to backtrack quite a bit to find, uh, the other guy, Palmer. Another court should be behind the chapel, I think, uh, stalking that mute lady. She, he should be easy to find. He has a cold. Once I get, once I give those two, the, the, these two medicines, that should, um, increase the value of the location. So instead of stable, it should be healthy. Uh, depending on if I find anyone else. Now, there might be, I might find someone to kill later to get massive experience boost. I, ha I have to exactly see which one I want to do. Uh, and I, I think I have an idea of who I want to do. That stupid, crazy priest. <laughs> yeah, that guy needs to get killed, man. I, I can't. Man. <laughs> I, I need to mesmerize that motherfucker. That guy's a piece of shit. The, uh, this guy. Tob Tobias Whitaker. Although, I, need, I want him to have... I want to get more hints out of this guy, but I don't know where to get him. So I, I'm going to wait until I do that later. But, but the fact is, he's he's a level 5, so there's no way I'm going to be able to do that now. Um, Barrett Lewis has the highest... Well, well, no. He has a high mesmerized level. All these guys have higher mesmerized level. I can actually do her if I want, but... Okay, I need to give him the cold. Christine Popa. Oh, yes. I want to give you some of that. Oh, for the love of God. Whoops. What's this? Oh shit, there's another guy here. Let's check this guy out. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me then. Okay then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Oh yeah, that's the Harry. That's what's his face's son. Ring in this world. Harry's the guy from the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> I'm stealing your shit, boy. Stealing your shit. Oh, shut up, you idiot. Ah, I... not much stuff up here. It's locked, all right. Ooh, job refusal. Dear Mr. Peterson, it is my duty to inform you of your refusal to accept your application for a job at the dockyard. I must thank you for the time spent at our office explaining the difficulty of your situation with your ill boy and the loss of your beloved wife, but it is also my duty to point out the policy of, of our company, which is expressly reproves the employment of former criminals or convicts. Your unfortunate connection with the ill-famed wet bo wet boot boys have been duly noted. These are hard times, sir, and Finch and Harper intend to reward first the... First, the candidates who pass the small inquiry we like to conduct about our future employees. You have my deepest sympathy, and may God be with you and your family. R.D. Harper. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, n oh my God, more. We must enter, must unite. Oh, West Enders must unite, excuse me. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them control you. They are amongst us. They lust after your soul. Vampires are real. Defend your community. <laughs> yeah. If you ever suspect someone of being a vampire, don't try to kill it yourself. You have no chance. Instead, contact me 
or try to inform a professional vampire killer. These men and women are rare, but they know what to do against these evil creatures. It seems that some of them are working together under this under the name of the Guard of Prewin, a paramilitary organization dedicated to er eradication of the vampire in L the vampires in London. They are your friends. You are not alone. Solution exists. Be smart. Spread the word. Clarence Crosley, for more information, please contact me directly. Interesting. So that other guy got uh, a job refusal. Holy shit. Because of his fucking uh, affiliation with the wet boot boys, huh? What a clown. So, oh, that's right. So this is his child, but Joe thinks it's his child. Yeah. That's why he's in the, that's why he's in here. That makes sense. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? In this world of shitography. Oh, he has fatigue. Well, I can cure fatigue. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Oh shit. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Yeah, I, I, I know exactly what you're saying. I really, uh, I really do. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Why are you sad then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. Wow, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. As expected. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Well, that's kind of uh, depressing. <clears throat> How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like. Well, you know. Mm. Speaking of which. What can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. Wow. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? 
Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Wow, that's even worse than I thought. What the fuck? What? Oh, come on. It said I got two hints unlocked. Oh, this is a load of bollocks. Okay, here. <clears throat> here, you know what? I'll do this. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. You'll feel better with this, but you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Is there only... Alright, so I gave, I gave medicine to him, so he's recovering. I got a hint for him, since I think he's already been maxed out. Then who's the next guy I could fucking bypass? <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, not bypass, there's another guy who's gonna give me another hint about this guy, but who? Do I unlock it by... And suffering in this world. It's hard to believe, but this district has always been rich. Don't let your guard down. Oh, there's Shaw Peterson. Part of pie, one way or another. Wow, what an asshole. <clears throat> you again? What do you want this time? Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. And people won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small, but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Hmm. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Well, that's nice. <clears throat> that's totally going to help the situation. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Oh. Let's go over here. Let's give him this fucking medicine for a stupid cold. Oh. Wait a minute. Did I, t did I take the wrong turn? I think I might have. Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Was he there the last time I was here too? Or was it this way? Ah! <clears throat> I have no idea what was back there actually. He 
he has the cold. Good evening, Mr. Nethercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. The top top nonsense is that. I'll leave you alone. <clears throat> what an idiot. The health of your mind is more important than your body? Who says that? I mean, in some cases, yeah, okay, that makes sense because. Quarantine. Okay. Because. Your mind cannot easily heal compared to your body, but that that's still kind of weird to say that. I don't know. Alright. I got a load of experience now. <clears throat> Let's see. I go... I can go this way. Let's see. I would have to go this way and this way, I guess. Yeah, it looks like I have to go this way. It would be nice if I can actually see what these guys are at. <clears throat> you know. Another hideout. Maybe this is where it's at. Uh, I, I don't know. It's blood. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Sucks. This is not really a fair fight, I'm just saying. This is not a fair fight. Because there's like four guys here. If it was just two guys, maybe, but... Four guys? Come on. That's that's not fair. That That's cheap. And given the fact that I haven't leveled up yet because I'm, I'm afraid if I like rest... More people are gonna get even more in trouble, so there has to be another way I can maneuver here. Let's see what happens. Let's see where it's like it last saved me. 
Hopefully it was by that gate, then I, then, then, then I could just walk back. <clears throat> Try a different location, maybe? I'm not gonna fight these guys, not right now. Although I do have that ultimate, though. I, I don't know if it's gonna be that good, though. Hmm. Let, let's see where it. Let's see where, where, where it puts me. It should be by that gate, though. Yes. Now where am I right here? Oh, how convenient! Wait a minute. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. I can bypass this entire. Huh. Is it great? That means I do have to pass through there, right? For the love of Christ, are you serious? There's no way I there's no way I can avoid this fight, is there? I would have to Well the might if I go this way. <clears throat> if, I, if I go down this way and make a left, I might be able to avoid these guys, but I have no idea. I was wondering why there wasn't any enemies over here, because like, usually it just respawns with enemies, you know? Oh! Stop it! What a douchebag. I still don't understand how he called me. You caught me there, I had low stamina because I was Dumb shits. I cannot enter. 
So I'm pretty much fucked, as you guys can probably tell. There's no way I can actually. I, there's no way I can actually avoid all this. I have to go that way, which means I have to fucking fight them, which sucks balls. Let's see something. I don't, I don't have an ultimate yet, right? No, I don't. Not not yet, anyway. Unless. Hmm. What if I use this? Using Shadow Veil, I should be able to avoid them unless the boss fight auto triggers. I mean, I really have, n I have nothing else to lose here. I mean, going over this way is just going to bring me forward this way. To an. You know what? I, I I may I may have to sleep. I I may, I may have to risk it and sleep. Uh, hopefully, then no one gets more sicker. I mean, it's just fatigue. Don't get me wrong. It's just fatigue, but still. All right, here. <clears throat> Two hundred damage. Six hundred shadow. You create a shadow vortex at your target's feet. Come to life. The shadow interrupts an enemy in an area. Tremendous damage. Oh God, dude, dude. Let's, tr let's do this. Let's see how this works. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Um, tactical. Two seconds control. Blood spear. There. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's see how this one works. Uh oh! Disappearances in Whitechapel. Reports of the pa reports of mysterious disappearance have escalated in the past weeks. It has reached the it has reached the point where witnesses have. Have to queue before recounting the testimonies to an officer. Although this, this phenomenon appears to be a national-wide occurrence, the statements of the last 24 hours have con converged around a single area in a, in a country, Whitechapel, London. Yes, once more, the despised and loathed East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities. Even while numerous families from this district report the unexplained disappearances of relatives and neighbors, what has happened to, the, to these missing individuals? Where are they? The only link between them seems to be their health and their need for urgent medical attention. Until recently, it was a local secret that the only place to get help was a discreet dispensary managed by unidentified Good Samaritans, but the place now seems to be closed and no one has new any news from the facility. Did the missing persons go to a more secret place? Have they been discreetly moved to a more official service? One day soon, the London City Council Board of Health will have to answer for this mystery to this new mystery. E.W. Oh! What happened? Oh shit, she's missing? Who else is missing? I still have yet to find Palmer, so I can't really heal him yet.
She's the only one that's missing out of this entire thing, huh? Of course. A cold now! Oh my god! I have a migraine for him too, actually. And he has a cold. Fatigue. I already killed him, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Nothing different for him. <clears throat> Dorothy is missing. Merchants. Your actions have impacted the borough's economy. The prices and size of merchants in this district may have changed. Huh. Uh-oh. Serious! Of course. Oh, for the love of Christ. I have to go there now? I may as well, right? Let's go here. Well, there's more enemies here now. Last warning, sir. Oi, you listening? Do I look like I give a shit? Well, you wanna go? You wanna go? See it fucking goes! This one's a top! Wow, these guys are terrible shot. Look at this, this is this douchebag. Oh, what? Look here. Got up like kids. Wow. Christ is dead. Doesn't like you like that, sir. <clears throat> Wait a minute, that gate's open now. Why? <clears throat> that gate shouldn't be wide open like that. this Just 
So what was the point of this area? This area, there's something in this area. Outside of that. It's locked, all right. Wait a minute, I recognize this place. Isn't this where... Yeah, this is what I was trying to get to earlier. Yeah! So that migraine motherfucker is. This, this guy? No, it's the other Palmer brother. What the fuck is this clown? Yeah. He needs that medicine. I was trying to find this clown earlier. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. Is that so? How disappointing. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. I can try to help your body heal, sir. But you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper may... Shut up. I already listened to this. See anything to say? How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. <laughs> I see he's the same as ever. Still a cocksucker. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, I don't think I've ever been in this area though. Going down this way will bring me over here. What happened to Dorothy? Or Dorothea, whatever her fucking name is. Okay, I'm actually going the wrong way. I'm going to the west end, not the chapel, where I should be going. Looks like I might need to go through here or through here. I don't know. Let's check here first. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. Serious? Oh, it's like someone ransacked the place. Good. That I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to do. Dorothy Crane is level 24? And she's turned into a, f a skull? How does that work? Is there any way I can like, bypass that or like... I 
I guess we're not, we're not doing this then. Fuck it. <clears throat> There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this right now. Did I make a mistake? As long as you have the money. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. A gun, alcohol. And a bad temper make a terrible. Fuck it, I'll try it. I'll see what happens. If I die, I die. It doesn't matter. I gotta at least try to go over there, right? Dead inside. God, do you saw that? That was awesome. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. Dude, it did insane damage. I love it. She doesn't sound too good. I'll tell you that much.
What happened to her? Oh god. Let's go down here. There's more room for me to maneuver. Awesome sequence. I did it and I still got killed. What the hell? Oh my god. But I got the key though. That means the checkpoint was there. I already killed him. I already killed her. There should already be a checkpoint since I got her key. But the question is why did she turn like this? She was never like that before. I mean, I suspect that she might have been a vampire, but it just didn't make any sense. The real question is, what happened to the, pres the, the Petrisku, whatever his fucking name is? The other guy, he just disappeared. Petrisku, or whatever his fucking name is, yeah. Okay. Oh, there he is! Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Torateus death. With strange weapons and very odd stories. Interesting. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. <laughs> what about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. How, how is it my fault? 
I didn't do anything. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. I didn't do anything. All I told him was to stop blackmailing what's her face. That's it. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. I did not do anything. I told her to stop blackmailing her and forget about... Wait a minute. I told her to forget about everything. Did that also include how to be a nurse? But if that was the case, she wouldn't have turned into a vampire or a skull. There's something, there's something else afoot here and I just don't know what. Of course. Need blood! More blood! Okay. That's enough. Oh, fucker. That power, that attack is awesome, man. Dude, that, that attack is fucking beast. Dude, that attack like took off a quarter of her health. It was badass. I love it. Of course he resisted. Oh, he resisted much longer though. This too. See if I can push this guy back far enough I can use this. That must be the chest.
This could be another exit. Treatment for headache. Class file. Me medical voucher. More of these stupid medical vouchers, I guess. Wow, a whole bunch of shit. I got a crap ton of stuff. Was he s stealing this stuff? Beautiful flower. I cannot enter. What? I uh, said there's no reason to ever come back here again. <clears throat> I have to. There's no other uh, stuff here to do, right? Yeah, I kind of cleaned this place out already. <clears throat> Well, except for that, I didn't clean that out. Oh, f crying out loud. I got more experience, at least. So, I'm not sure how am I supposed to get uh, past those other guys to get back to uh, my main object uh, objective. I mean, there might be a way. If I were to... No. I mean, I could try going down here to get to the West End. Cause at least that's where the North Docks are, and then I can just go back this way. But <clears throat> again, there's no guarantee I'm gonna be able to go back anyway. I have two fucking. I can put multiple custom markers. I didn't know that. Well, Dorothy's dead. Which was not my fault. <clears throat> I'm not sure how it's serious. Like I said, I didn't do any of that. She turned on her own. I'm assuming this whole area is blocked off, right? It's locked. <laughs> Yes. Well, this is sure lovely. see any way around it we're gonna have to go f we're gonna have to find a way past these guys <clears throat> like I said there's there's something I could try to do I could try to like bypass them by going shadow veil but again there's no guarantee I'm gonna be able to do that there's no uh 
you know. I would rather not fight them, honestly. Something over here. This is locked. It's locked, all right. Is there no way to get up there, though? No. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Got more pills. I can't break it down here. A small flower like those offered to the poor by Dorothy Crank a accomplice, Camilla the mute flower girl. Well, the who knows what's gonna happen to her. That area was blocked off, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> There's no point in finding that piece anyway. What's back there? Yeah, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, unfortunately. I, I could try it. I, I could try and slip past and see what happens, but... Something tells me it won't happen. It's like they want you to fight these enemies. The Shadow Veil is this one. Okay. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. <sighs> Let's see if I can bypass them. I don't think I can. <clears throat> L2, right? I just want to make sure. You see what I mean? Which one? Another one? Now wait a minute, that's bullshit! Dude, I'm sorry, but this is fucking horseshit. I think there's another one, I saw another one. Spawn, dude, that's bullshit. There's no way I could possibly fight these guys.
Yeah, I have to kill the two bosses. This is unfair difficulty. Wait, 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 wait. This is unfair. This is not cool. It's like I have to do this constantly. To avoid all their attacks. It sucks. This is not, this is not, this is one of the worst design boss fights I've ever seen in my life. I have to be honest. I'm fine with the two on one. I'm not fine with constantly respawning ads for this fight. I'm sorry. Oh, that's, oh. Bullshit, this is truly unfair crap. It's unfair. It's just a, it's a really not a fair fight to begin with. You know. Because, l l like I said, I could spam the other thing, but... I thought that oh, I thought with the four on one, like after you beat those four, it's just gonna be a, a two on one. I could take the two on one. I could cycle around and spam my ultimate attack, but <sighs> this is really fucking frustrating. It really is. It's really not cool. You can't bypass them. They force you to fight a gank boss. You know. <laughs> I, I I totally understand too. If the more you kill, the more powerful you get. But these guys should not be this tough. You know what I mean? 
Now I need to fucking eat rats in order to get all my blood up. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Okay, so maybe I should swap out from this to this. It's true, I'm going to use a lot of stamina with that, but... That's a two, it's a level two two-handed. A common cudgel. Um. And then another, okay, so this is obviously not gonna work. A 75, that'll be two. So right now this is 65. That's seven extra damage, so this would be eighty one, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> See, this one needs what? Three common parts, and I got two lead plates. Alright. I think I'm gonna try this. Wait, wait a minute. This is actually not bad at all. This is actually really good. Stun damage with that attack? Wait a minute, hold on a minute. Ugh, I don't have enough for that shit. Hmm. That's actually not bad at it. That's not bad at all. <clears throat> oh, I keep forgetting about this. Oh my god. Cost? Is that stamina cost? It's L1. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have any more of these, which makes sense, though. I 
have this thirst for blood. This is despicable. Yeah, we get it. You suck at it. Doesn't matter. No. Then again, I could use this too. I have this thirst for blood. I'm just waiting for these rats to respawn. That's it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, shut up, you idiot. No one cares. If you're doing whatever. It's all for the greater good. Is the spear? I have to remember that. That one guy, that one guy with the weapon, might be like the um, the weaker link. Yeah, Toby Sheen is the weaker. I was gonna say the weaker link, but of course. Got him. Now that that asshole's out of the way. Stop! Lock! Oh my god, the lock-on is so terrible in this game.
Okay, I got Toby Sheen out of the way. Yeah, keep talking shit. No one gives a shit what you have to say. Cross the leaks, boys. Oh shit. Oh shit. It was legit. Dude, you saw that? That shit was legit. Oh, what? Oh, I got the wrong thing out. Whoops. some pretty crazy shit. Woo! Alright. Well. <laughs> well, I finally did it. And my plan worked. It wasn't the most graceful fight. And not one I would prefer to, f to do. But it, I worked. It worked for me. Woo! Man, that was intense. That ultimate was sick. That, you know, it took up so much of his health. 